algo que no puede suceder, no tendría que suceder, ¿no? Pero esas son las consecuencias previas. This oil fire burned for more than three weeks next to a freshwater lake here in Vaca Muerta, Argentina, one of the world's largest deposits of shale oil and gas, and home to the indigenous Mapuche people. Six years ago, protests by Mapuche activists and their supporters outside government offices in the region were met with tear gas. Inside, an agreement was being approved that would open up their lands to the global oil and gas industry. Argentina's state-run oil company, YPF, has operated these oil fields in Vaca Muerta for decades. But the 2013 agreement saw the US giant Chevron enter the region. Chevron was followed by Shell, Total, ExxonMobil and Pan American Energy, a subsidiary of BP. Chevron began fracking for oil and gas here in the Loma Campana oil field. But the ownership of this land is in dispute. A 2015 government report recognized the rights of a local Mapuche community to this 40 square mile area, which overlaps with Chevron's oil field. The report records the buildings belonging to the local Mapuche community, called Campo Maripe. This structure is a communal building known as Eruca. It was built in 2013 to monitor the activities of the oil and gas companies in the area. Just months later, the day after the protests when the Chevron Agreement was signed, the Ruka burned down in what the report called an intentional fire. At that time, there was only one extraction site in the area. Less than a year later, dozens of new extraction sites are visible across the region. Fracking produces large quantities of toxic byproducts, which are stored and processed at facilities like this one which has grown substantially between 2014 and 2018. Local activists gathered these images and videos, which would form the basis of a 2018 lawsuit, which alleges that the facility was putting the health of local communities in danger. According to the lawsuit, half a million litres of toxic waste arrives at the site every day from nearby extraction sites. This video, taken by a worker at the site, shows the pools in which that waste is stored. The lawsuit alleges that the conditions in which waste is stored risks contaminating the local water supply and violates local regulations. It also claims that the waste pools are less than the legally required distance from the city of Anello and the nearby river. Around the time the lawsuit was filed, there was another major oil spill at another site nearby, called La Caverna. A workers' camp next to the site was completely flooded with oil. Oil leaked into the surrounding environment for 36 hours. After footage of the spill was published online, workers were banned from taking smartphones onto the site. The damage is visible on satellite images for weeks after. But activists shared videos with us that documented other recent incidents across the surrounding oil fields. The rapid expansion of the oil and gas industry in Vaca Muerta is visible in the sequence of satellite images from 2013 to the present day. Satellite sensors which register changes in vegetation reveal sustained loss of vegetation during this time, seen here in yellow. This environmental evidence supports the local Mapuche community's claim that the oil and gas industry has irreversibly damaged their ancestral homeland and with it, their traditional way of life.